Good morning, everyone, especially my brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to start this blog this morning by sharing you every morning at least um, a passage from the Holy Bible. So today I will be reading about Colossians chapter 1, verses 24 and to 29. Christ in you. Paul wrote to the Colossians, I rejoice in my suffering. Can you imagine yourself saying that? It is difficult claim to make, much less to adhere to day after day. In fact, that would be impossible for us to do on our own. The apostle was able to have such a attitude only because he drew from Jesus' strength. And the same is true for us. We are trying to live the Christian life by our own effort, but we won't succeed. Jesus himself told the apostle, the only, who, the only who will remain in me and I in him bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. To live a healthy spiritual life, it is essential to recognize that power has nothing to do with us. It comes from Christ in us. Our salvation is the work of God as it every bit of our sanctification throughout the rest of the earthly life, not only does He transform us, He also the one who empowered us to obey and serve as we rely on Him. Paul understand how responsible and also how responsibility and God's power is intersect. In verse 29 of today's passage, he expressed it is this way. For this purpose, I also labor, striving according to his power, which works mightily within me. This is the word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it's good to be uh, letting you know that I am starting this Christian blog and I wanted to share it among everyone who are interested to listen. I know it is hard for people to listen with regards to the gospel or regards to the uh, Bible, but I will do it in a way that you will not be. It will not be boring. I want to set an example on myself. I know I rejoice in my suffering during the time that I had cancer uh, that was when I was declared um, aggressive breast cancer stage 3a um, last April uh, last yeah last April 2021 and all the treatment the chemo treatment is really hard but because of this book I keep it on my company this is a very good book you know, this is the book of life, the Bible. So it helped me be strong. It helped me to have the strength of Jesus because um, I didn't, uh, I, it is really hard and I don't, I cannot do it on my own. But I rejoice in my suffering because Jesus is with me. This is the time that I know that there is such thing as miracle. And our God is a living God. So don't forget that, guys. Every every time in the morning or any time of the day that you realize that you want to speak to God, don't hesitate. God is everywhere. You can always open up with Him. And He is a God of faithful. God of faithfulness. He, he answered all our prayers the way that is best for us. And He is the God of today, tomorrow, and forever. May God bless you all. And may this morning be a blessed day for all of us. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.